thanks for tuning in again to another great episode. So today, we're going to do some carbon fiber stripes all the way down. Keep watching. Alright guys, so as I was saying, we got some carbon fiber here. I bought this big, massive roll off of eBay. I'll leave the link below, but as you can see, man, this stuff looks almost like real carbon fiber. Super thick. Has the grid system on the back, so you can easily cut the length you want. Um, what I'm doing here is we're doing 16 and a half inches. And this is the two pieces for the length of the hood. And we're going to do a little green accent stripe down the side. So I already chopped all this up. We got another, as you can see, we got quite a big size roll to do down the top of the truck. And also down the tailgate. Man. That stuff looks almost real. So, let's get out to the truck, bring this out there with us, and we'll get started. All right, so of course the first thing you would want to accomplish before putting any kind of vinyl tint is you would want to clean This surfaces and make sure and clean like underneath the lips here because that's where um, you're gonna fold it over and that's normally the notorious place of where it starts peeling the other thing is too is getting it centered it's always a fun part but what I'm gonna do is mask a piece straight down the middle here and then we're gonna go off of that so, let me get y'all set up over here so y'all can visually see this, and let's get to it. Alright, to clean the edges, I'm just going to do some rubbing alcohol to clean these edges here. Um, this here, I'm going to go ahead and use my finishing inspection mirror glaze. Just to wipe down that area here, so... But I don't know, I might just use alcohol all the way so that way I know for sure it's going to stick well. So I need a place to mount y'all so y'all can really see what's going on here. see I basically just kind of got me a starting point to where we can kind of line it up straight now I'm going to use the wet method on installing these with you know a little bit of dish soap and a bunch of water and that way you can still kind of move this around without it getting stuck and not in the right place because if you don't get these straight you're going to notice it so let's lay them up here and just kind of take a look of how it's going to look.
cut so you can see there I ripped up the piece in the middle I didn't really like how I couldn't see where the center piece is and this here I just kind of eyed it up a little bit um, to kind of give it and I put these here so when we go to lay it up here it'll be like stops for up there and down here and I'm thinking it looks equally pretty close and of course we could probably put you know a tape measure to it or whatever but um, we'll just run with this and we'll do one at a time I'm gonna wet it up on the truck and then wet the back of this stuff and we'll go from there see there just soap it up soap that up stick y'all back up here first round stuck so I'll go ahead and wet this one up get it down and then you got to wait just a little bit to get more water out before you kind of start and I may even have to heat it up we'll go from there
All right, so you can see we got her laid out really good here. Oh, I see one little spot in the camera. Where are you at? Right here. So, looks pretty even in my opinion. So now all we have to work with now is this edge, which this is where it gets tricky because we're gonna have to do a little bit of heat and kind of stretch it around. So let me set y'all over here where y'all can actually see what's going on. All right, I'm just apply a little bit of low heat. curves or anything always try to do it with a little heat a little heat and a little finesse I think we're looking pretty good here so now I'll run some heat over the entire middle kind of let it really stick not too much though but just a little bit
we have the pinstripe in here that we're going to run down the side. I almost thought about running it down the middle here too, but I think we'll just do the outside and see how that looks first. And then I'll heat that up as well. there we have it well, that makes that green pop and as you noticed it perfectly ends up in line with the end of the grill which is what I was going for to kind of give it a uniform look here let me know what y'all think in the description or in the comments below uh, do you think I should put some green down here or just leave it like it is I'm kind of digging it like this well let's pull it out in the Sun some more light and see what she looks like oh my god guys all I can say is this sucker looks mean now just look at that and wait till we put it all up there and stuff too I mean with that green up there it's gonna look bad
right guys so there we have it that is the carbon fiber racing stripe slash pinstriping install hopefully this video kind of will help y'all out if y'all gonna do something with vinyl it's really not too bad uh, of course i gotta do the roof and the tailgate but I won't show you all that in this video. This will basically just be for the hood. And then when I give you all some more updates, y'all should see the rest. And then it'll really top it off. But yeah, like I said, hopefully this is informative. And this stuff here even feels like carbon fiber. It's got the porous material. So yeah, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon if you want some more. Easy bird, I'm trying to vlog here. If you want notifications, but yeah, we're going to break the internet with this sucker. Alright, driven my gears out.